I run across situations where elderly people have been taken advantage of, sometimes by outside uh, people that are not part of their family, and oftentimes by people in their family. And it's a circumstance of them being elderly, and sometimes it's a circumstance of someone else in the family is a little more devious, a little shrewder, uh, a little bit more worldly, a little bit more sophisticated. Case in point, I received a uh, phone call today from a prospective client, and there were some, uh, some different things that had been done with the deed to the home. So originally, there were multiple transfers. Originally, the deed was in the name of uh, the deceased mother. And now, my prospective client is an older person. Uh, the deed went from the mother and father to just the mother, to my client at one point, to my client and a sibling. Then, somehow, my client, somehow, took her name off the deed for a quit, with a quit claim deed for the sum of a dollar. This was done about 10 years ago, but it was a family home. I don't really understand the circumstances of why the home did so many transfers, but families do that sometimes. And the home wound up in the name of a sister and the mother passed away a couple of years ago. And my client has been living in a home that she's no longer a title owner to, and her mother has passed away, right? That's the scenario. The sister sold the home, completely sold the home, and my client is still inside, and now the new owners are looking to evict her. What to do, how to do it, where to go, what? <laughs> so really to unpack this, it's quite the, uh, it's kind of like a scientist trying to pull apart strands of DNA. So I was speaking to this prospective client and another family member trying to figure out how we can address, redress this wrong. And my prospective client's name has not been on the deed for more than 10 years. It was not part of the mother's estate. When the mother passed away, she indicated that she wanted this property to be divided among her children. So now the people that have been displaced are the sib my client and her siblings, except for one sibling that's name, you know, it was, uh, her name is on the deed. She sold it. She captured all the money, not pursuant to any kind of estate proceeding. And I said, gather information, the history of the deeds, what circumstances they had an awareness of going into the closing. Was there a title company? Was it properly vetted that, you know, the no consideration or the dollar consideration for her portion of the house? And then what about something like the detrimental reliance or a constructive trust? The idea is under what circumstances did my prospective client give the home, give the home to her sister, right? Air quotes, but it's a lot to unpack. It's unfortunate, I really, I felt for this person because now she didn't get any portion of the money. She's being displaced from a home that she lived in for many years. Um, there's something to do. We'll figure it out, but it's not, cheap, quick, or easy. It would have been easier to prevent a closing, to prevent the sale, because otherwise now I have to undo a sale. That's a big effort to uh, really go to this third party buyer that perhaps got a lender and legitimately bought for a fair market value. How do I undo that? It's tough. And then the, it's not an estate proceeding because the mother passed away a few years ago without this property in her estate. So is this person out of luck? Well, we'll see what we can do for her.